Oh boy. Well, you know what that means. We got a boat. What are we doing today, Cody? Well, we're gonna hit up some open water on the old mighty fox again. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. As you can tell, I'm down here on the Fox River. Second day in a row. Uh, this will be after the first day, so you guys can see. We did catch fish already out here. This is a little bit of a warm snap uh, in February. Today's February 20th. And after this day, uh, well, it's gonna turn back to winter. I guess we're supposed to get like two feet of snow and things will shut down. So Cody, you know, over here, I'm fishing with Cody S. You guys have seen him a lot. Um, yeah, he's like, we gotta take the opportunity. I, I'll get the boat ready. Uh, let's, let's hit the Fox over the weekend and just, Take it while the spring weather is here for the meantime. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. So you guys saw this in the last video, but it's brand new boat. And uh, yeah, this thing was really, really nice to fish out of. We are right now waiting because there was actually ice uh, on the river this morning. It was like, I don't know, it had to have been like 15 degrees last night. And when I showed up this morning, it was uh, skimmed over. So really didn't want to launch the boat and scratch it all up. So we were just sitting at the Swamp Donkey Shack, uh, just talking to the guys there and looking at baits and all that. But now it is finally good. It is a nice, beautiful day. No wind unlike yesterday. And uh, yeah, picking up the camera, doing a little intro and we're ready to get out there and catch some fish. I didn't do like very good the first time. I don't know, I had to work on my cadence. Towards the end of the day, I figured it out. Um, I'll talk to you guys a little more once we get out on the water, what we're gonna be doing, what we're gonna be throwing, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm excited. Open water season is here for the meantime. We're gonna launch the boat, get out there and have ourselves a day. We have made it out on the water and we have made it to the first spot. Cody is up here already on the foot pedal looking at the live scope looking for some fish for us this afternoon grinding away real quick before we start fishing i wanted to let you guys know on something that is super helpful this time of the year now it is february but even when we get into march and you guys are early season walleye fishing out on the rivers or lakes if they're open either way anytime you're fishing early in the season a lot of the places you go are not going to have docks in like the fox river for an example Normally when you guys show up to Fox Point launch, there are a ton of docks and well, those aren't gonna go in for another month here. So what is super crucial, super beneficial that I like doing this time of the year is wearing waterproof boots. Today, I have my Tide Wee 800 gram waterproof boots on and it is super nice because I was the one back in Cody Inn today and uh, yeah, he had to pick me up at the shoreline. So I had to go into the water, walk in the water a little bit and uh, get into his boat because the docks aren't in. So I know it's it sounds stupid. It's something that you would think most people would know, but if you guys aren't doing this, like it's super beneficial. I never wear regular boots anymore. I pretty much strictly always ice fishing and open water wear waterproof boots and Tidewee is the best for it because they are the most affordable boot you guys can probably find on the market that has good quality. I'll go ahead, Cody's actually wearing a lot of tide weeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so you guys can see the boot itself. Can't really see a whole lot of it, but you know, how high do these things go? Up here? They go pretty high. So, I mean, as long as you're not in like four feet of water, your, your feet are gonna be waterproof. They're gonna be dry, nice and warm. And that's exactly what you want. So if you guys are in the market for a new pair of boots for this spring, Go ahead, go down in the description, check out Tide Wee. I will leave a link down there so you guys can go on the website, check out their stuff. And if you guys, you know, with spring also, we are just wearing the boots, but if you guys do a lot of wader fishing, you guys are gonna be seeing some wader fishing videos coming spring. So if you guys are in the market for some waders too, go down in the description, check it out, find something you like, cause they got a lot of great stuff. But anyways, we're going to uh, pick up the long rod, get the GoPro running here and uh, start trying to catch some fish. Cody is already on it. I'm surprised he hasn't hooked up. He's a guide. I figured he'd catch one on his first cast, but <laughs> I guess we're all human. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the long rod out and hopefully get hooked up real soon. Well, I am going to go ahead, take my first cast of the day. Gonna be starting off just like in the last video with a blade bait. This is one of my favorite colors by j &M. Picked it up at the Swamp Donkey Shack. This is just an all gold blade bait. This thing did really good last year for me. And uh, yeah, so starting off the season again by throwing it. Blade bait, honestly, Cody, when he introduced it to me, never used a blade bait, you know, they've been around for like 80 years. 
never thought of putting one on but he was like a couple years ago man you guys need to try blade bait so you know he tied us up one one day and uh, i think that day we caught like 120 fish and my arm hurt so much that i couldn't even do anything the next day with it so after that moment i was like wow blade baits blade baits are the move so if you guys are heading to the fox river or any river early this season pick up some freaking blade baits and give them a toss out they're super easy to work anybody can do them they're almost easier than a jig in a middle i mean you're kind of doing the same action really slow little pops letting it pause on the bottom most of the time those fish will pin it down and then when you lift up for your next hop they're going to be on so it's really easy you don't have to worry about the plastic sliding down the middle falling off you just cast out work it back keep doing that and you're going to catch a pile of fish at least 10 miles of each other so it's not like you have to you know it's not like you're making a 30 mile run to go fish a different spot right unless you're going all the way up to death's door like we did that one day yeah that was far there we go. Is it going to be the right species, Cody? <laughs> Cody just snagged something. I was reeling up to grab the net. <laughs> First one on the blade for me. Oh, I have kind of the same situation going on here, Cody. Well, that was something. That's something. First fish of the day for me. Look at that thing. Smallest walleye I think I've ever caught on the Fox River, ever. Yeah. That's like, this is literally what you see on the Wisconsin River. But uh, yeah, first fish on the blade. Cody's been getting them on the plastics, but I wanted to stay true to the blade for a little bit longer here. And uh, see if I can get some fish. First one, probably gonna give it a little bit longer, but if he starts to just keep continuing catching them on the plastic, I might switch over to that. But. First one on the blade, not a big one, but scratched that first fish of the day off the list. Get it back out there and hopefully the next one's a little bit bigger. If I don't, oh God, there we go. Finally hooked up. Just telling Cody how much time we got left. It's been rough for me. I'm using his rod now too. <laughs> Rattled it. Oh, he did. How's that for feel? That was great. I got the net of fish. Wow, look at that. I caught a fish. Probably like a 20 inch fish. The average out here, these are all winter fish. This nowhere even near the spawn, but so far all the winter fish that we've caught up here have been pretty nice average that like 18 to 22 cody caught a 25 26 incher yesterday so the average is good that one's absolutely hammered it we're sticking to the plastic hopefully he lets me use his rod for a little bit longer we probably only got like another 45 minutes out here um so we're gonna try to catch a few more fish for you guys i'm gonna be tossing the plastic and uh yeah to see what happens the rest of the day <laughs> that thing actually hammered it. What is going on? 
Did you get that on camera? I did. Well, that was the cast right after I caught that last one. Unreal. That one hammered it. Every single one, well, these last couple that I've had, have been laying on the bottom. This might might be one of the last ones. Um, we did, really, the whole time we were going to stay out here uh, was to catch fish and film a video for you guys. And, yeah, that was the main reason why we are going to stay that extra half an hour. And now the fact that I just caught a couple in a row... Uh, it, it's crazy i mean i really don't want to stop but i do have stuff to do because it is a monday i gotta work tomorrow still gotta edit this video but uh yeah absolute blast out here um probably okay i'm gonna maybe do one more just because that was real fun but yeah absolute blast out here most likely though i will talk to you guys back at the landing and uh maybe even i'll show you guys the swamp pocky shack just because i've been talking about this and i don't think i've actually ever showed it in one of my videos so you probably have no idea what i'm talking about so maybe i'll go show you that and just kind of give you a quick rundown of what it looks like inside it's still insane that i literally get your rod and just start catching fish immediately with it oh god cody jesus I was just dragging it kind of like half ass on the bottom. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, what I've been saying in the last. How many fish have I caught now? I think this is the fourth one in a row. We did relocate a little bit. We went down, down river a little bit. And uh, this one ended up hitting. I'm like, it doesn't even matter how I'm working this thing at this point. Like I'm dragging it, I'm pausing it. I'm not even freaking doing anything and they're still hitting it. I honestly think, I don't know. I, I feel like I was doing something wrong. I had to have been doing something wrong because up until using Cody's rod, I wasn't catching any fish. I don't know, but I'm not complaining. That's in the past. We're catching fish. I'm gonna get a release on this guy right away. See ya. You God, go. that was a fatty. Yeah. Oh, man. Nice one. Yeah, the reason we were coming down river is because we we're just kind of hitting a few spots on our way back to the launch so we can get off the water. But yeah, scanned, found a few fish, took a cast half ass dragging it laying it on the bottom and uh that's all it took i guess one last fish for the day now i think we are going to actually head on in i'm going to go up to the swamp donkey shack show you guys just a quick little preview what you can find um yeah you can come down in the next couple weeks and get some stuff i do believe they're still going to be open but uh yeah most likely you know come march you guys are going to want to stop there get some stuff anything that you will need for walleye fishing will be in there so go in the shore show you guys that real quick and uh yeah, get on with my day. Well, there he goes. Cody is out of here. He's gonna try, take that thing to a car wash, get it cleaned off, get it waxed. Thing's new, you know, it's kind of like his baby. So he's gonna go do that before it gets too dark, but I'm on my way right now to the Swamp Donkey Shack, which if you guys have never been here. Here's Dairy Queen, here's a &W and the shack is right outside of it. Right here, this is what it looks like. Swamp donkey bait and tackle. This is, uh, this is where you're gonna wanna be to get all of your walleye fishing needs when you guys come down here. Howdy. Hello. Go over here, you guys can see, got a whole bunch of worms. You guys got a whole bunch of husky jerks here. Keep on going. You got your perfect tens, all custom colors. Rip and wrap wall blade bait wall your jigs your hair jigs more jigs both your minnows whole bunch of stuff in here as you can tell this is all stuff that has been proven out here on the fox river holy cow i don't know how long i was in there for but uh i was talking to some guys that walked in doing some fishing talking about some stuff but uh yeah it's freaking a blizzard out here all of a sudden like i said while i was filming that video earlier today uh, it's gonna turn to winter and guys it freaking turned to winter. It is like I'm in a snow globe right now uh, So yeah, I got a little bit of a drive. I got about a two-hour drive home, so I better be getting on the road But uh, yeah, this is where I'm ending today's video again That's the swamp donkey shack like really really quick walkthrough, but you know uh, That's where it's at anything you guys will need for the Fox River. Uh, it's gonna be at that they have two locations here and across the river so if you guys need that last minute thing when you show up that you didn't bring head in there get it but 
like I said, yeah, I'm gonna get on out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Not super uh, fish packed. Um, I think I caught five fish today, which is nothing crazy. But again, these are winter fish. The spawn is not even close. I mean, this is pre, pre, pre spawn fish. These are just ones that live in this river system. Nothing has pushed up yet. It's gonna freeze back up probably tonight into tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to wait another couple weeks before we get out here. Again, big thank you to Cody. He left a long time ago before I even went in the shack. If you guys wanna fish with Cody, and check out any of his stuff i will leave that all down below because he's a great guide he'll get you guys on top of fish and once the spawn really gets going he's going to put you on probably your pb so make sure to go check that out again check out tide we as well i'm going to get on out of here like the video subscribe if you guys are new i will talk to you guys on the next one tight lines from nba